Howdy folks, Kerbo here. Welcome to the Great Frozen North. This is the Abandoned Forest map by The Sim Station. It's a contest entry for the Modding Mania 2018 contest on FSUK. I'll have lots of links down in the description below. This map isn't released yet. Uh, this is the final version that he submitted for the contest, I believe. Uh, there may be some changes here and there, though, as I tweak things for the series, so keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, let me give you a quick little tour here. We're here at the store, Sim Tractor Company. And we've got lots of equipment sitting around here. We've got some of the snow cleared out. And I've been doing some organizing and some buying, spending money. Uh, we're doing all right money-wise. We made out pretty well in Texas. If you watched my Lone Star series, did all right there. And we ended up here, I'm not sure where this is geographically, but I'm using the uh, Eastern Canada Geo. Seems to fit the territory pretty well. So we're going to pretend like we're up north somewhere in or around Canada. Doesn't really matter too much for our purposes. But uh, yeah, and there's the train. Thanks, train. Are you done? All right. I don't know what Chessie Systems is doing up here in the mountains, but good looking train. So let's take a quick look at the map overview here. The big thing with this map is going to be logistics. Um, it's a really nice idea. I love this idea of the farm is way out here in the middle of nowhere and just getting, you know, to and from the town is a challenge. Now I'm starting out at midwinter cause we left Texas down there at uh, late fall. So we've traveled up here and it's been a few days. I've got some land bought and whatnot. So we're starting out midwinter. And one of the reasons we're doing that is the terrain. So you notice we have a big uh, lake and river system here. Well, it gets really cold up here, and this is actually frozen over. We can drive on this ice. It's nice and thick. So when you don't have the ice to drive on, you've got to follow this uh, dark line road here all the way around here. And this gets really steep and curvy and bouldery and all kinds of stuff up through here. Uh, this bridge is actually out. There is no bridge there. you got to come all the way down here and across and up over to the farm. Now, when this river is frozen, we can cut right across here. We cut out a lot of steep, steep terrain that's hard to get to. But it's still a challenge. There's a 90 degree turn here that's a little bit of a challenge. And there's a bridge here across the railroad that's narrow and it's concrete and it's slick. So the first order of business in this video is going to be to get a bunch of equipment out to the farm. And I've got most everything we're going to need bought. Most of all, I have a place to live. There's an old house out on the farm, but it's in pretty pretty bad shape. The roof leaks. So we're actually going to take this uh, nice RV pull-type camper out there to live in for at least a year. There's some strange parking spots on the map. Traffic parks in the store lot sometimes. But anyway, I've got all the equipment pretty much staged over here. The first trip we're going to take out... Uh, it's going to be a bunch of fuel. This is full of fuel. I think it's 4,500 liters. So we'll have plenty of fuel out at the farm. And we've got our little TDK tipper here. Pallet fork and a log fork. And we've got our main tractor. This I don't know if it'll be the only tractor, but it's going to be our main workhorse for sure. Got this nice uh, 6280R. Uh, plenty of power. I don't want to be out there in the middle of nowhere and not have enough power to get stuff done. I've got to wait temporarily on the front so we can take it out. I've got a nice big old flegal bucket on it in case we need to move some snow on the way out. And as we just kind of look around here, I've got the Coon cultivator planter combo there. We're probably going to be growing corn and or soybeans. So we're set up for that. We've got our uh, fertilizer spreader here, the Axis, Coon Axis, nice big fertilizer spreader. And we've got the Amazon six bottom plow. So that will get us started, get us planting. And if we take a little peek over here, you see a big yellow monster. I think this will fit across the bridge. I've done some measuring, and it should fit. I'm really hopeful that it'll fit. <laughs> Especially this corn head folds up, which is nice. Um, but I'm not sure we can get it to the farm in the wintertime. We may have to get it across the ice and then just let it sit uh, before we get it all the way up to the farm. But we won't need it till next fall anyway. 
then I've got this uh, Flegel trailer here loaded down with uh, a bunch of fertilizer and a bunch of seed to take out and store at the farm so we'll have plenty out there. And that's pretty much it for equipment. So I think we'll head out and get at least one load over. See uh, what time it is by the time we get back. It's, it's a little bit of a slow trip. There's some bridges that are a pain. Um, I do have the truck and the Land Rover still. I sold the PJ trailer. It's just not suited for this kind of terrain. I also sold the old uh, international tractor we brought from Texas. I just wasn't going to cut it up here. So they'll probably just set here. Might be useful in the spring. They're just pretty much worthless in this deep snow. We've got at least a foot of snow on the trail out there. So It's going to be pretty much tractor all the way. So, let's hop in and uh, get started. As long as I don't have to back up, we should be okay with this arrangement. The tractor doesn't have any trouble getting around in the snow at all. My only real concern is going to be the bridge. It's got some really odd geometry, so it's pretty hard to drive across. I do have traffic enabled, so I have to watch out on this main road. They don't come down the secondary road into the town, which is nice. But uh, once we do get a crop harvester, we're going to have to get the the grain back here into town to sell uh, any any animals you need. Basically, anything you need is going to have to come from the town. So it's a nice little challenge. Getting everything out to the farm, and it looks like we're clear, so we're going to go for it. I don't know if that's the latest gearbox. What's up with that? It makes some strange noises when it's wrapped up. And it does that with all vehicles. A little bit strange. It's a little overview here of our little convoy. I've had a little bit of trouble with the pallet forks staying put. We'll kind of keep an eye on them. Farm Sim Physics does weird things sometimes. But I'm hoping they'll ride out there. Got pretty smooth sailing down here until we get to this first wooden bridge. And then it may be a battle to get across that. I'm not a huge fan of the wooden bridge model. Like I said, it's just got some really strange geometry that... It's not that it's challenging. I like the challenge. It's just kind of stupid. <laughs> it's the only way I can put it. It's not super realistic, but it's a good looking model. Fits the locale. So based on past experience, I'm going to stop right here. We're going to put the old parking brake on and we're going to we're going to break that fourth wall all to pieces. We're going to save our game. Because you never know. And I think we're going to go down a range for the trip across here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to hug the left side and see if that works. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you hit a brick wall like that. You just never know on this bridge. See, we're just, we hit something. Something invisible.
It's my one one gripe with an otherwise wonderful map is this stupid bridge. Just there's yeah, we're we're stuck on something. Not sure what. So I'm gonna futz around with this stupid, dumb bridge that I hate with a passion. And uh, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I think we made it across at the risk of jinxing myself. Yeah, we made it. And the, the pallet forks are still with us. So that's good. A lot of freight train activity here on this line. Now we do have this old railroad line here that's been turned into a nature trail. It actually goes out to the farm, uh, but unfortunately they don't allow you to drive motor vehicles on that trail, so that's not an option. But we got some nice thick ice and it's around for, I think, at least a couple more days. So while we have nice thick ice, we're going to get everything moved out. I really would rather have that fuel trailer behind the tractor, but it doesn't have a hitch on the back. And the tipper does, so. We made a road train. Now you you kind of want to ease on out to the, onto the ice. There we go, and we're just going to point for that uh, bridge right over there. And follow the river so if we weren't going across the ice we'd have to go around all the way around that lake there and we'd end up crossing that bridge that's right above the tractor now and then winding up a really steep mountain trail up through there that i'm pretty positive we can't get a harvester up that through there unless maybe if it was a really really small one like the massey pack or something so we definitely want to get the harvester across the ice while we have the ice. The ice works well, but it seems to have like too much friction or something. I don't know. You never can get up to speed on it. And it also randomly fills the fill trigger bucket with snow. But that's okay. We'll take a load of snow across. Gives us some more traction up front. So right around the bend up here, we're going to get off the river. And then it's a, it's a little bit of a tough climb with the deep snow. But I think we can make it with the tractor we have to we can leave the fuel trailer and and uh, double trip it take a trailer up and then come back for it but I don't think we'll have to do that however before we get off the river I'm gonna dump the snow this is just gonna be extra weight that we don't need There we go. I'll just go ahead and downshift as well. And we're just going to hit this and see what happens. There are some logs across the trail hidden in the snow that we need to deal with. We'll try to just go over them for now. This right here is why I just went ahead and spent the money on a nice big tractor.
So here's our first real major obstacle to especially getting the camper out here is this 90 degree turn onto a slick icy bridge. Hopefully everything comes across. Looks like we're good. If we can make it up this little incline, I think we're good. There's one of the logs. Now we just have to shoot down this trail and we're pretty much at the farm. Here's the next log. Let me go kind of slow over this one. It's a, it's a really big bump. I'll probably get my chainsaw out and take care of these on the trip back. Uh-oh. I slowed down too much. Get a little bit of a run at it. Nope. She's having none of it. Alright, let's try this. Find some dry ground in here somewhere. There we go. Just need some brains and some horsepower. He says as he runs into the tree. So that did two things for us. It got the snow out of the way and it added some weight to the front. Of course, all the subsequent trips are going to be easier because we've, we're mashing down the snow. I haven't been out here since the snow fell. It was a pretty easy trip in the Land Rover with no snow on the ground. Came out here and surveyed the farm and took a good look at it. I think we can do some good out here. I got it for a song because it's abandoned. It's been abandoned for I think about 20 years they said. So this, some of the structures are in pretty rough shape but I think we can make a go at it. Nice little challenge, something different and beautiful beautiful landscape. And here we are. So this is the railroad bed right here, that old railroad trail that we can't use. There's our, I think that's our seed dispenser over there. We got a shelter here. It's got a pretty good metal roof on it. Got our, uh, fuel pile over here. So that's where we'll stick our fuel. So let's see, can we unload from here? We can. Good deal. So we can just unload from this right over into here. Looks like the uh, float level is working good. I'm not sure what the lights mean. It's flashing green now. So um, this does work. It's got a pretty new generator on it. This is a, a deep, deep well where we can pump water up. So we just have to put uh, some diesel in the generator and it'll pump water up here into this tank. 
Uh, I don't think I'll do that till spring. I don't want to risk it freezing up, so we'll just leave that for now. There we go. That's all out. So we made it to the farm. Uh, I think I'll call it here for that first episode. I'll do a little more organizing and we'll get some more stuff out here. Get everything moved. And next episode, we'll uh, if I don't have everything moved, we'll probably at least bring the harvester over and we'll see how that goes. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this new series and I'll catch you in the next one.